That's like one of the biggest bluegill I've ever caught. That's a definitely a bluegill green sunfish hybrid. Oh. That's a big one too. I hit a grow spurt today. You're standing on a rock. <laughs> well, what's up guys? It's Daniel in Houston from Arms Family Homestead and we're at the creek. We're gonna do something a little bit different today. We're gonna do a micro fishing challenge. Um, but what I wanna do, we've been talking about this for a little while. Houston and I came down to the creek a few days ago for like 30 minutes before dinner and we probably caught 30 fish in 20 minutes something mostly yeah. little bluegill green sunfish long ears and all that stuff we're gonna do a video today that is like a one we're gonna call it the one cut challenge basically or no cut challenge we're gonna record a video for 25 minutes straight and see how many fish we can catch so it's not gonna, it's gonna be like a no frills nothing fancy no cinematography type video we're gonna get in the creek and when we cut the video on and start recording, we're going to record for 25 minutes and see how many fish we catch combined between the two of us. Which Today, means, Which means we're only going to be cutting one fish. We're not cutting fish, <laughs> but we're going to be fishing. The same lure we've been fishing with all spring is the Trout Slayer. And Trout Slayer kit, not sponsored by any way, but man, we just catch a lot of fish. This little natural color, it's basically a little small crawfish. Seems to work the best, but I also brought... Uh, trout magnet sells a kit that is a panfish kit so it's just like their trout magnet kit except it's for panfish the hooks have a little bit longer shank basically the same soft plastic lures as the trout magnet but i may try some of those out we'll see what we can catch uh today we're, we've got some new rods these are from fish gum it's called the runt rod you guys may remember we were on the boat with captain ron in pensacola this is the exact four foot six inch ultra light rod that we were catching all those spade fish on they sent us a couple out after seeing us had so much fun on the boat with ron catching spade fish so let's hit the creek and catch some fish I, i'm betting in 25 minutes houston and i'll probably be somewhere close to that 30 fish range hopefully we'll see i seem to have lost my uh sidekick here he's i'm looking for turtle nest. he says he's looking for a turtle nest but i bet he's gonna find a snake before he finds anything else so anyways we're gonna hit the creek and when you when we start recording again we're gonna leave it going for 25 minutes how many fish can we catch in 25 minutes let us know in the comment section before we get started give us a guess what's your guess at how many little bluegill and green sunfish and long ears and maybe a few bass how many are we gonna catch in 25 minutes what's your guess i'm gonna say four bass and total number that's all we're looking for okay 27 okay i say 30 that's more than a fish a minute but there's two rods so let's get started all right guys here we go we're gonna start our timer not really a timer we're gonna start fishing and my line's already tangled up but 25 minutes now you're gonna have to excuse camera angles you're gonna have to excuse a shaky camera and uh any mess ups we may have well houston's got a fish that's one fish already looks like a big green sunfish let me see it real quick. I got to get my lure in the water. Good job. Ooh, that was by like eating size, a green sunfish. Mm -hmm. Earl's over there alerting the fish to our presence already. Houston's fishing his under a bobber. I'm just going straight without it right now. I may put a bobber on. I've got one in my pocket. I may put one on in a minute, but we're using light tackle. Ultra light rod, like I said, from Fish Gum. I, we are not sponsored by them. I don't know the first thing about them, honestly. They just sent us a couple in the mail and said, enjoy. So doing that, oh, look at there. I already got a wind knot in my line. This is a real world facts of it, I guess. But anyways, fishing like four pound test mono line. This is hard to cast. Yeah. This little bitty light lure, we took these uh, reels off of our longer rods. We had them on like six foot, six foot six rods. And you can cast a lot farther, get a lot more reach out of them. But we'll still catch fish. Earl, get out of the creek. You're scaring our fish. Oh, I missed him. All right, let's move up. The last time we were in this spot, there were a ton of beds right here. All these little sunfish were, were all bedded up. And the creek is looking a little stained today. 
So I'm sure that'll make a difference, but I bet you. Dang, I got that one good. I bet you we still catch plenty of fish. You got to keep count how many fish you catch. Caught one. Oh, dang it! I'm sorry. You're doing fine. You're not bothering me. Starting off awful slow. Well, we're also doing it at a different time of the day too. Hey, try to stay uh, on camera somewhat. You're wrapped around your pole. All right, let's keep moving. We're going to have to move quick, find some fish. I'm not sure why the water's sustained. Oh, you're getting a bite. The water's dirty. We haven't had any storms the last few days. It's just kind of stained looking right now. We don't get a bite in this little deeper water right here. We're going to keep moving. Move along quickly, Houston, until we find the fish. They, Earl, get out of the back. Get back. Get out of the water. Yeah, there was a bluegill nest right there. Earl just spooked them off. It's a long year on the nest right there. Spit it out. Had it in its mouth for just a second and spit it out. All right, keep moving. Keep moving. There's some nests right there. As long as the dogs don't spook the fish off of them, I want to get on the other side of this brush pile pretty quickly. There's a bass right there. Yep. See it. You about had it. Earl, what are you doing? Scaring your fish. Dang, I don't know if you want to can this time. Number one for me. That's a big one. Giant. Big old bluegill. That's what we're here for right there. That would be Two. catch, clean, and cook material right there, Houston. You keep up with your number, I'll keep up with mine, okay?
Well, I don't think we're gonna make it to 30 fish. A little slow. Mm -hmm. uh, we're filming, we're shooting this video at 12 o'clock. It's straight up noon, pretty much. And that may have a little bit to do with it. Don't build a cast as far as you do. Let's try it. Get it. Get it. There we go. There's number two for me. Look at here. Look at there. Number two for me. All right, here's some more. It's seven minutes. We'll have to get it in gear, catch some more fish. If we fish where the fish are biting, we should catch more fish, right? Yeah. Okay. Woo! Don't knock the camera over. You guys are going to have to bear with me on the camera angles. Oh, my goodness. Hey, fish are taking, bringing off of there. <laughs> Exactly what I thought. Drag's too loose. Okay, right to me. Not because I reeled it into me though. That makes a difference. Yeah. Here we go. Okay. Good boy. No, I said what I was gonna do with that though. Did you see me? Yeah. Hold your shot. Yeah. Come over here in front of the camera. Nobody's gonna know you got that fish on. That's number four. It's coming to you. He sure is. He's right in my lap. Nobody can see you, buddy. I'm sorry. What? This Move in front of the camera. Oh, this cold. It's You'll be all right. You were just saying that a while ago. I know, but here I am out here in front of the camera. Your bobber seems to be working out, buddy. Yeah. I don't start catching some fish quick. I'm gonna switch to those pain fish magnets and try see if it makes a difference. Put some more cooler out there. There you go. Hey, you yanking them in behind me. Five. Pretty one. This one has like red eyes. Got him. Number three for me. You take him off the hook for me? I'm good. I'm, I'm still working on this one. That's three for me. I'm over here casting by the camera and stuff. Oh. There we go. Number six. Yeah, it's a lot he yanked my skirt down. Stay in front of the camera, okay? Okay. It's six. Better start catching up, Dad. Yeah, I'm just three. You're doubled up on me. I don't have two colds, so technically I'm not. <laughs> Unlike Cole had like four out for him. <laughs> he definitely had, he was fishing with like three for sure. Yeah. Well, he was kind of cheating himself there. Against us at least. Mm. thought this tree would be the magic spot. Well, it is for me, kind of. You're catching them over there. <laughs> Dang it. Woohoo! 
better go get it. Yeah, I'm going to get, like, chest deep. Well, we got fish to catch. We're on a time clock here, buddy. I'll take that back. Never mind. It's not that deep over there. Hey, we're at 12 minutes. And I think I'm going to switch up from the little crawfish to the panfish magnets. I don't know. I don't know what color is best. I got a hook in my mouth. Probably shouldn't do that. Do the brightest one. Chartreuse. Oh, you want me to do a pink and purple? Yeah. All right, we'll try it real quick. We're going to go in with the pink and purple first. I'm going to have to make some changes on the fly quickly, probably. Rig this up real quick. There we go. Panfish magnet. All right, 13 minutes. Houston's not in front of the camera at all, so I'm gonna stay close to it so I can video him if he gets a bite, gets a fish. I may have to put a bobber on just to get any casting distance out of this little bitty thing. I'm feeling the pressure from this. Like I feel like we're not catching enough fish fast enough, and I'm not even joking around. Two days ago, Houston and I were just slamming them, but we were in a different part of the creek. We were upstream a little ways, but you couldn't cast and not catch a fish for a while, huh, Houston? Yeah. Real yours. I got a bite. Real yours. Oh. Man, we got a basket set going on. You see that? Yep. And we just kept on taking it under, back and forth. I just got really tired of it. Take it. Oh, look at that. Get in the middle of the fish finger. Got him. There we go. There's four for me finally. A nice red ear. A little red ear on the panfish magnet. See him? He tried to hit me on the face, in the face on the way out. 16 minutes, Houston. Already? Yep. Right next to the tree. Right next to the tree. I caught a leaf. There's number seven. Well, oh, Houston's got one. Number seven for him. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. Falling behind. I'm just, ah. I'm just at four. Oh, my barber went under, and I'm holding on to the camera. That's a good 
Maybe pink and purple wasn't the color. May have to switch out real quick. Oh! Uh. Oh, I missed one twice just then. Must have been a little bitty guy. Couldn't take it. little bitty not able to take it all right one more cast with the pink if i don't catch a fish i'm switching colors well that, that could be part of it i don't think so i've sure caught a lot of fish out of this creek nothing wrong with making a change if something ain't working though oh right in the tree come out of there got it I'll pull my skirt down. 18 minutes, 20 seconds. I feel like we're, I feel really rushed right now. Yeah. Oh, there's number five. That one is a green sunfish. Now you caught one on, your, on the last cast with it. Yeah, you're right, I did. Other than the cast that hit the tree, that didn't count, right? Nope. Oh, Houston's got one too. Oh, you got a big one. Yeah. Holy big Lord. green sunfish. 19 minutes. We got six minutes left. This is eight right here. That's number eight? Yeah. Look at that. That thing's big. Yeah, I don't have time to look at it. I got to catch up. Well, then catch up. I'm trying. Or you could just go into the kitchen, open the fridge, and grab it out of the refrigerator. It's that simple, Dad. It's that simple. That's where the ketchup's at. Here we go. What number is that for me? Six. Six. There we go. Well, pink and purple. Oh, did you see that bobber? Yeah. Just made a mess on my rod. That pink and purple seems to be working out now, so there he is. Now I got to untangle everything. That gives me some time. was not a good guess. It just didn't take it. Oh, I drank it out of his mouth. I'm not sure I'm a fan of this four foot six inch rod with this tiny little jig I'm fishing with. I just can't get any casting distance out of it. And my line's a little twisted. I, I put fresh line on this rod the other day and I don't think I spooled it very well. Houston, you're over there fishing in like six inches of water. I know, but I haven't fished. I believe you. Bluegill, but they'll bed up up there. I can see their beds, but I still like fishing around this tree. Take it, buddy. There's number seven. Hey, you're catching up. I'm only one behind you now, buddy. Hey, can I get a different one of these? Wait. Slide it back up, unless you want a different color or something. You got to stand right there. We're at almost at 22 minutes. Getting down to the wire. Houston's got one. 
What do you got? Bigger fish? Oh my goodness. Oh my, yeah. Dude, that's number nine, right? That's like one of the biggest bluegill I've ever caught. That's a, definitely a bluegill green sunfish hybrid. Oh. That's a big one too. That's like the All right. biggest bluegill I've ever Here, caught. I'll just put the camera on you for a second. I gotta, I gotta catch fish. I'm at seven. And you're at nine, right? Yes. This is like the biggest fish, biggest bluegill I've ever caught. Oh. Oh. No, I dropped him. You dropped him. No pictures for you. We didn't have time for pictures anyways. But I got number eight, and I got one that matches yours almost. Look at here. That one's definitely a giant green sunfish. This creek is just so phenomenal. I love it. But look at this. Number eight, giant green sunfish. Dude, I wish I could have. 23 minutes. Getting down to the wire. Yeah, I saw it. That was the biggest, like, the biggest bluegill I've ever caught out of this creek. I'm going to cut your line if you catch a fish. <laughs> You're still ahead of me. By one. By one. Minute and a half left. Better cast. Oh my gosh. You're trying to throw it too hard, buddy. Just smooth, smooth cast. Don't try to whip it. There you go. Not where I want it. Oh. I had a bite. I'm gonna walk out here a little farther and get closer to the. Oh yeah, you yank my, yank my tail down. Oh. oh. Got him. Got him. Don't have a tiebreaker now. We're both at nine? Yep. I think, heck, I might count and might be off. I don't know. Let me check the clock. Oh, it's 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Actually, I'm kidding. It really wasn't 30 seconds left. I was just trying to catch one more fish. We're at 25 and 20, but we're tied. And Houston said we can't have a tiebreaker. So, I mean, we can't end in a tie. What's it gonna be? The pink? Or the natural. The little pink trout slayer or the natural colored crawfish? First fish wins, right? Mm -hmm. Holy crap, what happened to all the fish? We played them. That's what happened. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh, come off! Why can't I catch a fish? Why can't I catch a fish? Because there's no more cotton. Okay. We're down to our last one. Oh, I caught a stick in overtime. A piece of grass. We may not finish this challenge. I 
Go back over to my log, my brush pile. Uh oh. Got a nibble. Look here, Houston. There's Ted. And Game over. You get a redemption. Nope. We're our time limit's way up, guys. Let me look. Yeah, we're at 27 minutes and 50 seconds, but we were in overtime. Coming in for the win on a tiny little bluegill. Well, I guess that's the end of our challenge. Oh, I, after the clock, it don't count, Houston. He's still fishing. Um, no, but technically we both won, and technically it was a tie at the same time, because I guess 27 fish. Yep. You caught you guys thirty. Yep. But you caught ten and I caught nine. So technically we are both winners. Nineteen. Houston was closer on the guess, but that's not bad. In twenty five minutes we caught nineteen fish out of the creek. And that's with trying to run the camera and do everything. Um, I don't know. Just seemed like a fun challenge to do, something totally different, something we'd never done. You know, we come out here a couple days ago and just I mean, we actually caught a lot more than what we did today. And uh, it's midday, sun's out. And I'm sure that has a little bit to do with it. But uh, anyway, Houston, do you think we should do more challenges like this in the future? Yes. We need to get Jacoby back out here. We haven't had Jacoby out here fishing in a while. Too busy. Too many things going on. But uh, anyways, guys, I guess that's going to wrap it up for today. Let us know if you enjoyed this video. Let us know what you think about this style. Was 25 minutes too long for the challenge? Was it too slow for you guys? I don't know. Maybe you just enjoyed hanging out at the creek with us for the last half hour or so. What do you think? I love, I love Good? fishing. I love fishing too. I and love fishing. We can make it a competition and still make it fun, right? Yes. All right. Good job. All right, Houston, you want to wrap this thing up for us? Uh, sure. So, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And as always, we'll see you on the next video. Peace.